66 letters I wrote for you today. I wrapped them in a leather case and sent them on their way. The mailman brought them to your door. You accepted with a smile and sat down in the living room to read them for a while. Some minutes passed until your mind filled with thoughts about your day. Then the phone rang out and you got up and put my letters away. When morning came, you arose and took the letters once more. But something came up, so you grabbed your keys and rushed right out the door. It was just before supper when you got home, my letters still unread, but you were tired from your day and took a nap instead. When evening came, you grabbed the letters to begin where you'd stopped, but there was breaking news on the television, and again my letters were dropped. By the next afternoon, my words were lost beneath an ever-growing mound of newspapers, bills, and magazines that spilled onto the ground. And as days slipped by, you lived your life without a second thought, going here and there and with this and that, filling every single slot. My letters remained beneath the weight of that ever-growing pile as your stress has built up and you hid yourself behind a painted smile. Though you sang out in church with hands held high to every prayer that was said, you couldn't ignore the feeling that inside your soul was dead. The day finally came when you cried out and raised your hands above, Where are you, Lord? I've lost my way. And I can't feel your love. The days that once seemed bright ahead now lay far in the past, and those that stretch ahead of me grow darker than the last. It was then that those forgotten letters jumped back into your mind, and you searched the house from end to end, trying desperately to find. When a corner peeked out from the mound of junk mail on the floor, you picked them up with excitement that you'd never had before. You read of the pain that I endured to take away your sin, and if you'd repent and trust in me, you'd have new life within. And you read of the plans I have for you, and of love beyond compare. You wept over your sins that I forgave. Through your tears, I met you there. As you continued to read, I worked in you to shape and form and mold, to have you become more like me, refined as purest gold. Through life's struggles, together we'll walk as we take it day by day. Though darkness and pain may block the path, my light will show the way. Those letters I wrote so long ago were written just for you. Though the ink has faded and the pages are torn, the words remain brand new.